Hello and welcome or welcome back. I'm Bo. And I'm Wynn. And we are trying to get our crap together one paycheck at a time here. Mm -hmm. um, this is going to be our debt and savings check-in for our main priorities. Um, it's very exciting today because Wait we, for it. we finally finished paying off Trunchbull, which is Wynn's highest interest student loan. Oh, babe, you said it wrong. We defeated her. She is finished now. <laughs> That's how you say it. Sure. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so she is finally finished being paid off. Super stoked about that. Um, yeah. So Without if you would like further to ado. do the honors, finish coloring that. Um, meanwhile. Meanwhile. On the other side of town. <laughs> uh, we actually have a lot of updates uh, and I figured I could go into those a little bit while he is coloring. Um, so first update is uh, if you remember I got a temporary promotion where I was getting what amounts to emergency pay. Uh, I was getting a, a nice hefty pay bump to fill in for two women who were on maternity leave. Uh, so that promotion is now permanent. Yay! That promotion is now permanent. So um, yes, um, which means it is time for me to take a pay cut <laughs> to my new pay, oh. which, which is still higher, much higher than the pay that I had before I started filling in for these two women. Um, so this is we're going to be doing okay we're going to be doing okay as long as when goes to work and doesn't yes. like put himself in the hospital again um so yay trench bills paid off huzzah Sucker. <laughs> um and then we get to this second tracker this second tracker is our total debt um so this gonna have to do a little math here okay so where are we? Okay, so current total debt is $48,603.62. So we're going to subtract that from the total debt. So 68,423,56. And this is the total debt um, that started in December of last year. So uh, $68,423.53 minus... $48,603.62 equals $19,819.94. That's a lot of nines. And I'm super stoked about it. It's almost 20000 It's almost 20000 It's almost 20000 That's hot. That's wild. Okay. So now that we have the difference, so this is how much debt I've paid off. Now we divide that by how much each of these pieces is. So each piece is $342.12. So we divide this by 342.12. So 57, almost 58, but we round down here, 57 of these boxes should be filled in. Uh, so we get to fill in one more box. Because we were at 56. So this one is slow going. This is going to take us Drip, drip, drop. It's, it's basically, it's going to take us like 10 years to fully, <laughs> fully color this in. Um, we had a big bump in the beginning because I put a huge chunk towards his debt um, at the end of January, beginning of February. Um, but, you know, we've been, we've been pushing. We've been able to, I'm pretty sure we've been able to color one block every month, like at least one block every month That's since so then. Hot. I'm, I'm okay with it. We're making progress. Okay. So, onward to talk about what this means for our debt. So, um, this is our debt payoff worksheet. We did this at first at the beginning, well, at the end of December, um, when we wrote out all our debts, all, well, wins debt, all wins debt, and... Mm -hmm. Uh, interest rates and all that good stuff. Um, so as you can see here, some progress has been made. Now, Trunchbull, student loan number one, 
that was at 6.8% is paid off as of October 22nd. Uh, So the next debt that we're going to focus on is pain. Now, this is a little tricky because pain and panic, these two right here, these lower two, um, they are actually considered one loan. So it's a consolidated loan of, um, basically it was loan four through loan seven, got consolidated into two loans. So part of this loan is subsidized loan and part of it is unsubsidized loan. I I don't know why it's broken up into, I don't know, but they both have to be paid at the same time. So I can't just pay pain even though I want to knock that one out first. Um, So what's going to have to happen is every time I pay on the student loans, I have to put a little bit on panic as well. Uh, But if I try to split it in half, then I won't make, like I'll be making numerical progress, but I won't be able to like color in a box every time. And I don't like that. I, I want to I want to feel like I'm really making progress, <laughs> even if it's just in my mind, even if it's just like coloring on a sheet. Um, Still counts. So, yes. So what what we're gonna do is I'm gonna pay the minimum on panic every time I make a payment. So the minimum on on panic is fourteen twenty two, which the way we budget is gonna look like fifteen dollars. Uh, so $15 is going to go to panic every time I pay, and then the rest will go to pain. Um, so, like, progress will be made. Technically, it's the same amount of progress as if I had split it in half because they're basically the same loan. They have the same interest rate, all that. But I want to feel like I'm making more progress. So this is the way I'm going to do it. Um, and we will introduce the coloring tracker for pain um the next time panic is not actually i'm not actually going to be paying enough for this to make progress uh because this gains like over a hundred dollars in interest every month um so this one is not going to be progressing even though i'm technically paying on both this one is not going to be progressing enough to color so this is not going to have a tracker yet it's not going to have a tracker until it's time to start focusing on it so that's how we're going to do it And just a heads up, like, for anyone who is thinking about doing, like, pay-as-you-earn or income-based repayment, there is a catch to it, y'all. WINS minimum payment is much less than the interest that accrues. His minimum payment on panic, $14.22. The interest that accrues is over $100 every month. Wait a minute. So that means... I see what they did there. Yes. So if you're, if he actually stuck with income-based repayment, he would be paying these loans literally forever. He would never pay them off because he would not be able to keep up with the interest. That's, we're not doing that. (laughs) We're not doing that. Um, So the, the goal here is to have pain and panic both paid off within three years. We'll see how that goes. Um, I'm hopeful with this new promotion. I'm real hopeful um, that we can do that. And then once we get down to it, Frollo and Scar, those interest rates and the amounts, like they're barely over 10,000 together. They're, well, 11,000. They're at 11,000 put together, but the interest rate is so low that it's not worth it to aggressively pay them like we're paying these because we want to buy a house um at some point you know so um once pain and panic are paid off we're gonna start aggressively saving for a house um and frollo and scar they will get more than you know the seven (laughs) dollars that the minimum payment is but um, we're not going to be throwing like 800, 1,000, 2,000 at them every month. That's not happening because we really want a house. We don't want to be renting forever. Uh, so that is where we stand on our goals right now for debt payment. Um, I know I've, I, I try to mention this every month, um, but just so you know, this personal loan here, 
This has zero interest. Yes, it's put as payoff order number one, but that was before I decided to immediately send, uh, like, I think it was 12000 um, in January to his debts. Um, this has no interest, so we were just going to pay this by the due date. Um, so this, we actually have this amount saved already. It's just not paid off yet because it's not due yet. Um, so that's what's going on with that. And we're, we're almost like, it's, it's going to take us 10 years to get through all of this. Let's but, be very real. Yeah, let's be very real. It's going to take us 10 years to get through all this, but it's going to be, it's going to be pretty much smooth sailing okay. after three years is up. Uh, so I'm happy about it. Okay, now that is our debt check-in. Next is savings. <sighs> so summer pay, you sent a significant amount to summer pay. Um, so it's $300. So you're adding $300 here. And we're adding that to what was already there, which is 374. So you should have 674. Now each of these little stars is $50. So we're gonna divide 674 divided by 50. It's 13. So you should have 13 of these colored in. Right now you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now you need eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. When? Yes. Coloring? Yes. You're coloring up to 13. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep. Okay, so while he's coloring, let's do update number two. So update number one was um, was that I got, I got the promotion. Uh, it's permanent now. So I'm making significantly more than I was before, um, before the temporary promotion, but less than what the emergency pay is. So that's update number one. Update number two is, uh, when is feeling a little better. Um, as far as his leg is concerned, he had sciatica issues. Um, so like he has missed a bunch of work. And that he doesn't get sick time. He doesn't get paid time off. So uh, because he's a substitute teacher, uh, which is also why we have this summer savings. Uh, it's so that he does not have to like finagle his money during the summer because because he's a substitute teacher, he's not guaranteed income full time in the summer. Uh, so this will replace his income in the summer so that it's so that we're not freaking out basically um but yeah so because his leg is doing better um he will not be missing as much work so mm -hmm. let's let's see Huzzah. some paychecks that are over a thousand dollars yes like every time that would be fantastic um on a side note um, the school district decided, or was it, was it the whole state or the whole city or was it just the school district? Decided what? To, uh, spread the payout so that you state. got, it was the whole state. Okay. Uh, so basically how it works is if it's not a school day, when doesn't get paid? Like if it's not a, well, if it's not a day that teachers are at work. Uh, then when doesn't get paid. And also, if he calls off, he doesn't get paid. Um, but what the state decided to do was spread that out throughout the whole school year so that um, he would still get paid all of winter break um, and spring break and everything. Like, it's just, he'd have a slightly smaller check, but then his paychecks would be even throughout the school year as long as he didn't miss work days. Um, so I don't know exactly what those paychecks will look like because he really has only had like one full paycheck this school year so far. Um, you, you need one more. 14? No, 13. Oh, okay. Wait, 
wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Yeah, 13. Cool. 13. Um, Numbers are hard. <laughs> uh, so uh, we'll see. Basically, both of our paychecks are going to be looking a little different from now on. Um, and I'm excited for it. Well, no, your next paycheck isn't going to be a full paycheck either. No. So it'll be like a month before you have a full paycheck. Ooh. Because you missed, was it yesterday or Monday? Yesterday. Yesterday. He missed, he missed yesterday as well. Um, so he's not going to have a full paycheck for a little while. Um, struggle busting a little bit, but it's looking up. It's looking up in the right direction. Um, but thankfully, we are currently a month ahead on our budget, uh, so it we can move paychecks around to where they actually match what we need them to match. Um, okay, so next is phone bill. Uh, so this is my savings. I'm adding eighty-eight dollars. So 88 plus the 40 that was there already. So that's 128. And 128 divided by each of these squares is $7.84. So I should have 16 of these colored in. Where are you gonna color? Yes. Okay. I'm gonna color with this one. Okay. Um, 16 of them? Or yes. up to 16? Up to 16. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That's 10. Okay. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Okay. So, oh, there is one more update <laughs> while he's coloring. Um, there's one more update. Um, we are going to be getting um, bank accounts for Wynn's twins for their birthday. Uh, their birthday is coming up in November and they're going to be 10. So we figured this would be a good opportunity for them to have their first savings account. Um, so that's very exciting. And we're going to go with the local bank that is just... Um, it's two blocks away from our apartment, uh, so we'll be able to like either walk over there or drive over there. And uh, they do, like, they'll allow you to like cash in your change without rolling your own quarters and stuff. Uh, so I figured that would be a good, a good option for them because they get their allowance in change uh, because it's going in their piggy banks. Um, and they're not at the age yet where they need like real cash. So, um, so yeah, like in the future, if they want to turn in their change for like dollar bills, they can go to the bank. We can all go to the bank together and they can bring their piggy banks and like the teller will actually like shake out their piggy banks into a little change counter. It's adorable. It's delightful. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty excited about that. So. That is phone bill. We are making progress. Um, I really like these trackers. Almost all of the trackers that we use come from debt-free charts. Um, and I like them so much because it's percentage based. Um, so you can see like how much progress you're actually making. Mm -hmm. I, I love it so much. I, 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 I death. Yeah, I like the aesthetics of the other trackers where it's just like the amounts of money. Like this one, this one isn't from Debt Free Charts. This one is from Hassle Free Savings. Um, and, you know, it has the amounts on there. And there are a, a lot of them that have like various amounts, like not every amount's the same. Uh, and it's kind of fun to watch other people like color those and, and track those. I just, I would prefer, I prefer to see like how close I am to the goal rather than just like coloring specific amounts, you know? Mm -hmm. That's that's how I am anyway. Okay, so phone bill is colored. Next we have school. So school is getting $104. Uh, 
we're adding that to the 407 that were already in there. So that's 511 and divide that by $6.69 because that's how much each of these each of these are. So we are at 76. 76. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. 76. Mm -hmm. 76 trombones at the rate parade. Okay, so 76. And when is real big on the chaos with the picking a different color every time? Um, I'll make the rules. <laughs> it's fine. Um, okay, so if you didn't know, um, we call this her school just to differentiate from Wynn and his back to school savings. So Wynn saves for back to school for the kids and I save for uh, me, myself and Wynn to go back to school. Um, so Wynn wants to get his educator license and uh, special ed as well. Yeah. And um, that is, you know, not free. And also, I want to go back to school for finance. Um, Hell yeah. I, I've been kind of wavering. I've been kind of wavering between um, that and data science as a degree. Would you like me to color the rest? No, nope, I got it. Okay. Um, Thank you, though. I've been kind of wavering between finance and data science. Uh, but I don't know. I really like, I really like money. <laughs> I really like money and I, I kind of want a degree in money. I think that would be great. What? You are coloring super chaotic. I love yeah. you so much. You're like wild. I don't know. Or maybe am I, am I weird for wanting to like do them in order? Like I would have done them. In, I don't know. Um, Tell us in the comments. <laughs> Who's really being weird? Me who's just trying to get these books uh, colored. Or or me for wanting to do them in order and like sticking with the same color. I'm I'm very I don't want to say rigid, but chaos. Chaos. It's just it's just chaos. I don't know. Um so that is actually I think that's all the that's all the big changes mm -hmm. like financial wise anyway. Yeah, we are um, meeting our goals because broke beats um, budget beats broke every time. <laughs> I almost messed that up, people. Indeed. Okay, so now comes the Christmas challenge, the Christmas card challenge. Really, um, this is the one challenge. Well, I kind of like that the one for uh, summer savings as well. But this is my my big um, challenge where it's some chaos. This is where I like the chaos, uh, pulling a card. There are only two cards left. <laughs> this, is saving, now. this is saving $500, there's only two cards left. So this can only be a 10 or a six. But we're still gonna do it randomly. Okay, what do we got? 10! Ten. Okay. <laughs> so we're saving ten dollars for Christmas. Let me write that down. Very exciting. Uh, which means we only have six more dollars until Christmas is fully funded for the year. Uh, which is great because it's almost November and we haven't bought like anything yet. Uh, so that's very exciting and because it was the whole ten dollars I'm not saving anything for furniture <laughs> That was the next one, but that was gonna be only if uh, I pulled a six if I pulled a six then There would have been four dollars left and I would have put that towards furniture, but We pulled the full ten so that's not happening uh, so that that is it for our savings and that's it for our little life updates. I kind of like doing the life updates while we color. I like them a lot too. But not as much as like budgeting. Because yep. budget beats broke every time. And never forget that you deserve financial stability. I really mean that.
And I hope you have a great day on purpose. Bye.